Coast, bro. Like, man, you're trying to get ranked? I was like, dude, all literally like half half of East Coast is like top 25 of PGR. So good luck. Once things switched up and it was a fresh game, everybody got hungry. Also, a lot of characters got buffed, luckily for us. <laughs> so getting to game number one right here. Running into Battlefield, I'm not too surprised that this is where we are because I don't think PK Chris is going to intentionally give uh suarez ps2 he knows right, that that's right, right. suarez's favorite stage and it's yoshi's best stage overall according to like pretty much all the yoshis i i think it could be debatable for a few but it's such a good stage for them and <laughs> we already saw how they played between stretch and this this seems like a good one that we're probably gonna be stuck with right and for anybody watching the vods here on youtube uh just wondering what happened to the loser semis <clears throat> sharp was having some issues with the wi-fi he just his internet was just not working good cox internet not that great but nonetheless, man, he took the DQ like a champ, and he said, you know, I'll be back next week, so I'll be back to get him, man. So uh, that's pretty much what gave PK Chris the buy here into Suarez and Losers Finals. Yeah, the unfortunate DQ into the Tri-State Showdown, but, you know, Sharp will definitely be back for sure. Right now, we have these two. This is a very interesting matchup because one of the things that Ness likes to do is pressure on shield with the characters that don't have destroy. Yoshi doesn't get shield poke, so he's got to navigate around that, throw PK fires at it, and make it so Suarez preemptively jumps and gets hit. So I'm interested to see how he forces him to stay in shield, but Suarez right. also has good trade options too. He's got he's got that nair, which can beat out a lot of the approach options from this. All right, Suarez watching the recovery here. I was gonna say you can definitely just down beat to make that recover at the ledge and avoid a lot of things from this. Nice, going after DK. Double jump armor too at the right end of the nick of time. Nair is gonna get parried, man. I'm telling you, PK Chris was born into Wi Fi. We were just meant to suffer on it, and that Up Smash will call out that recovery. Yeah, PK Thunder 2 in the center stage to prepared parry into Up Smash punish. <laughs> Most people you would stare at that, you assume that you could get that punish there. But Suarez now just trying to set him up at ledge to look for. Uh, an egg toss into a confirmed forward air. If you catch him, get on neutral get up, it will KO. A lot of people just stare Ooh. down. But the anti air off smash is gonna do it. That side magnet cancel ain't gonna do a damn thing for you. Okay, Suarez looking for an opportunity. Good footsies here, trying to get a cross up with a down air, getting him the off stage play and the double jump armor to avoid the down smash. Once again, Suarez with the play, but no egg. Okay, I was gonna say, he's gonna come towards center. Careful, because that egg is so hard to crack. A lot exactly. of shield pressure. Like uh, 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 crazy thing, like the actually the hilarious thing is match, uh, about this matchup is pretty much he who mashes first will probably lose. <laughs> he, yeah, that is true. To, that you is have actually to remain true. Grounded in this matchup, otherwise you get blown up for over like over pushing yourself in because they both got short stubby like hitboxes. But minus the fact that you know Ness has a slightly longer range with those forward airs and such. But you don't really want to be the one to land right on top of the other one because of potentially getting hit by forward smashes like that. Yeah. I'm getting hit by, oh, that was quiet. Ah, oh, that was scary. I'm sorry. That shield was looking like an M&M, and it was about to be broken. Yeah, he did that earlier today against Jake, I believe it was, in Winner's Finals, and that broke a shield. So that's a really good option if you've nared on them or put, like, a short hop forward there to force that shield down. And now PK Chris has got to be worried about that. Yeah, you, and I like the fact that Suarez is using that double jump armor to time the punish from PK Chris to avoid getting hit by that yo-yo. All right, trying to force options here, using the egg to get in. Forward air calls out any... Uh, was that a shield poke? Because that was, I was going to say, I think PK Chris definitely got shield poke there in that situation. Yeah, look at Vika. I'm actually looking back at chat to see. No, he jumped out of shield, so he was forced back off stage. That was a bit high. But both of them at 122, 123. There's no KO throw from Yoshi, though, so he's forced to look for, like, a back air pretty much now. Or look for something like that, trying to get the tech, uh, the miss tech or roll in with the down smash. But you see, he's going to be fading in with back airs a lot. That's his primary KO option at these percents because he doesn't have a kill throw that's going to be able to contest Ness. PK Chris going kind of deep, like, that was, a, <laughs> that was a good stall, he got away with it, but... <laughs> yeah, you don't have to go that <laughs> deep. I was for him there. Alright, Suarez thinking it's time to come back here, 129, looking for an aerial with a cross-up. And that's the thing about Yoshi, too, and Suarez, he's very strong on the cross-ups with down air, back air, or just reading his opponents. Mm -hmm. Trying to inch in on that PK fire slowly with the down B, but not able to get any punish whatsoever. Would have been good to call it out, though. Yeah, you see how this, like, you see how difficult this is for him right now? That's like, PK Chris has been able to get 75 in a stock unanswered because there was nothing Suarez could do. He had to find a back air. He had to hopefully call it a jump with an up air because he had, dash attack ain't killing. Short hop forward air is going to get beat out when he decides to short hop nair out of that. Like, yeah. it's pretty reactable. It, there was next to nothing he could do that was safe enough to get the KO on PK Chris outside of getting, like, a confirm into an egg. And that just played completely into Chris's hands.
Yeah, I th I think I'm I'm definitely with you when you said earlier, Ajax. Like he who mashes first is the one who gets stomped on as much yeah. as possible. Cause like yeah, it, it, a lot of a lot of situations where like I get what Suarez was going for, but if he just would have stayed grounded, he would have been fine. And in that situation, yeah, he was caught in the air. PK Chris had to read not only with the PK Thunder one, but with the PK Thunder two, sensing you know what the only place Suarez has left to go to because it was in the air was definitely towards me. Yeah, the only <laughs> return to sender, go right back to the blast zone, send them to Minecraft. Actually, one of these canonically, te te technically the loser on Battlefield is the one who would fight Jake, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we're starting it back off here in game number two, PK Chris off a game. Chris looked really good in that game. I think it's detrimental here that Suarez establishes a nice early lead and makes it so Chris has to approach on, like, unsafe. He, he needs to hold center stage. Get That way he can condition him into things like that grab that, so he can just force a lot easier shield pressure because he can't get him to go skybound. He can barely connect with these back tilts. Uh, except for the fact that he's got 67% on answer right now. That's his jump. He's going to force him to air dodge in. Nope, he's going to go back. Oh, okay. So we reading the get up here. Suarez using the double jump armor like he should. I think that's one thing that Suarez has been putting up to good use. And also just Yoshi as a character. Able to just double jump armor against a lot of Nessus reads against you. Like forward air, the, yo the air, I'm sorry, not the arrow. Uh, the yo-yo as a whole. So that's things. Oh, that was a deep Whoa. end neutral air. What a play too. Off the edge. You have 54%. There's no reason to not go out there. You're not dying to anything if you happen to get hit. Uh, just put that pressure on him. And now with the lead, now PK Chris has got to play in the mid range with you. That makes it a lot easier to get yourself some out of shield options. Mm -hmm. Down there for Suarez. Oh, Good damage. 52 <laughs> reading on the platform landing. Okay. I will always hate that down air. I hate it so <laughs> much. I don't I hate Yoshi, Yoshi down air. As much as, yeah, I don't hate Yoshi nearly as much as the rest of the East Coast. But that down air will always trigger me. Getting hit by Yoshi's downer and Luigi dash attack just triggers me. I, I'm with you on that. You're right. Dude, Luigi dash attack has no business being good. We've discussed this multiple times. It has no <laughs> business killing, down. too. Jesus. Uh, that move will always kill. That's been killing since the beginning of the inception of this character. Back throw's gonna do it. I oh, like the delay man. on the air dodge call. He's been swinging at all of his jumps. He just waited for him to drop down right into his loving embrace. And that's that all the reads, dude. There's a lot of times that we've been seeing Suarez call out PK Chris for just being for the direction of air dodge. We even saw that against his matchup against Stretch, too, where he just knows, like, I'm going to go for a directional air dodge towards the platform, and Suarez just knows, I got to execute now and take the stock for the lead. Oh, look at this. He is just staying on top of him like like on rice right now. He really is just making him feel that pressure on the platforms now with the command grabs and with the stock up. He can afford to go for things like Nair out of shield and challenge him. Sure, he can get blown up by a pretty quick stock by Pika Chris too. Don't trip. He's got a lot of damage. But I like that Suarez is playing with confidence now, now that he's got him up on the lead. Okay, wait for it. Nice. Tries to go for an out of shield play, especially after the egg. He was trying to condition something out of PK Chris's reaction from egg. Suarez looking for the landing against PK Thunder. Great parry. He's got his feet on the stage here. There's a near out of shield. Close, but what a parry from PK Chris. Like I said, man, this man was bred and born on Wi Fi. He's got that parry timing on lock. Oh, I was gonna say, well, yeah, watch that. Because last time Suarez was in the air, man, that PK Thunder too definitely hit. Yeah, and that was all like good positioning too. He canceled off the platform before with the down air, tried to run in, and now he's forcing him back off stage. Good delay from Suarez, just kind of fading back with the egg tosses, just keeping himself safe. But now Suarez is getting into that point where he's attacking out of shield and Pika Chris has started to mm. adjust to it, and he got the stock because of it. Now Suarez has to play a bit more, I think he needs to play a bit more airborne, so that way he doesn't keep getting pressured the way he is, because Pika Chris has kind of caught onto it. Yeah, and you see that egg lay to the down B, and even if that's not a kill or a, or a specific read out of shield, it's still, I'm sorry, a specific read out of the mash out, it's still damage. Look at that 94 that PK Chris is now sitting on. He's literally just a Yoshi <laughs> confirm away off the stage to get to game three. Yeah, this is enormous. And now, ooh, he's starting to catch him on the air-to-air -air trades, too. And you see, that's why Suarez decided to go to ledge instead of trying to jump straight in on him. He's like, no, what? I'm going to put the eggs out. I'm going to reset and change the tempo of the game up by doing so. And now, because of that, he's actually been able to slow down PK Chris at least a little bit. Oh, yeah. He was definitely looking for air dodge on that platform. And he's got lost up on the Ooh, back air. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, Suarez is going to use that down bit of recovery. He's been doing good on it just because he's avoiding a lot of things from PK Chris. Specifically when it comes to aerials, and it's kind of hard to time Yoshi out of it. 
Yeah, honestly, and now we'll look at this. We're back to even percent. Suarez had a nice, comfortable lead at one point. But, oh, oh. he waited for it, but he didn't get to it. That second. The shield dead. poke? Are you dead. kidding me? Wow. Bro, what I said before about that down air, my feelings about it. Yeah. <laughs> they, are, they are most definitely valid, Ajax. If they weren't valid before, I'm pretty sure everybody in the VOD and the chat knows. Yo, uh, Ajax's hate for Yoshi's down air is actually warranted. Yeah, it's specifically the down air. It does so much damage. It could K off the top. It could combo off of certain percents into it kills? Like, high damage like that. It could kill. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. I also saw somebody in the chat uh, say that they uh, that somebody banned PS2. Absolutely. It was 100% PK Chris would be banned PS2 because you don't bring Yoshi there. Yoshi can confirm pressure on you from full st like from pretty much half of the stage with egg tosses and then combo into platforms he has combo pressure and the biggest thing is yoshi has short stubby hitboxes so when he's getting pressured uncomfortably he has plenty of room to run away and reset you don't want yoshi to have that room you want to keep in just enough on yoshi to make him commit yeah. to a jump or get buried into the corner so you can snipe out that jump never let them get something like ps2 yeah, you. it's kind of crazy because even when you think about Yoshi as a character, like the character is actually really strong and solid all around. And mm -hmm. Yoshi's run speed on a stage like PS2, like you said, to have that speed all together on a stage like PS2 where they can actually reset, that's the last thing you want. You want to make sure you keep them in, literally in a box. And yep. Battlefield is a good choice. And if also, not Battlefield, like, then Townsend. I'm sorry, Smashville. Yoshi's most sig significant weakness is that he can't kill at high percents easy. He has to hunt for things like back air. So when you have room to run, you can reset because you are like, okay, I can't find a KO. Let me get a second so I can like reset and do something. But on a small stage like this, you see how quick it is for PK Chris to get in at KO percents. Now you don't have that type of uh, time to rework. However, though, one game apiece. These two have been so close because nobody's really held a dominant lead so far. Chris trying to force that pressure at the ledge. Oh, oh okay. I was gonna say, I, 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 I got hit. I, 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 got hit. I got scared and I dipped out of there. Oh man, I'm with you, bro. Suarez not moving. If I were Suarez, bro, cheeks would be clenched at that point. Yeah, facts. Like, it, it's just. It's sometimes it's just good to hold your ground. Oh, he gets past him with his own back air. That could have been enormous. He wouldn't have died to that forward smash, but he would have gotten amazing stage positioning out of it. PK Chris is so good at stalling with using the PK flashes. Like, he barely uses it for combos. Like, it's oh, so no. no. Oh, that's an untackable. You're dead. Oh, and that's Whoa. not enough of the threshold of height. Yo. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking back at it on chat. I'm pretty sure because of the fact that Yoshi got... Yeah, Yoshi got in the way. Yeah, Yoshi got in the hit. way. <sighs> yeah, it's, well, it shortens the distance, and it was barely off. So you take that trade every day. You got caught. But hey, PK Chris went down with you. Oh, I like get going in, getting this damage. What What about PK Chris do you think that, like, with Suarez's defense or how he's been adjusting to a lot of just the short hop pressure, what do you want to see more out of PK Chris? Do you think he needs to continue to try and get big strings like that, or does he play the slow game in the long term? I feel like playing the slow game in the long term will pay off, because eventually, like, the thing about Yoshi's aerials, too, is Yoshi commits to those aerials, so you can punish Yoshi for just trying to aggressively drift in. And if you have Suarez on the back foot looking, like you said, higher percents, he's got to hunt for things. And at this point for Suarez, right, he's going to have to give in to the hunt. And if you're PK Chris, you know when that's going to happen. You want to execute that on, on point. True enough. And you see, like, right here at near grab percents, now he's got to stay still. And that's make that's what makes stuff like those, those charge up smashes online. Because you think you're getting it grabbed, so you roll in, you try to dip. And that was actually kind of unfortunate for Suarez. He like you could have gotten something out of that there, but backed off because he didn't feel confident enough in that punish. And he ran up and waited. He knew he was gonna attempt something there, but he ended up jumping a little bit early. Good on Chris keeping the charge going to keep the hitbox out. Yeah, he knows Suarez has to either commit to a roll, which might actually like force get him hit. Eventually, after the egg does lose its shield, or he might to come in for an out of shield play, which can be punished. But unfortunately, PK Chris on the with grab is going to get punished for that down B. And War is inching slowly on the stock here. Finally, the back at 144 here. Two stocks to one. You know, Suarez wants this extra credit done. 
Yep, there's that back air at high percent. He's forced to go for it. And that was so smart in the conditioning with the down B2 because he lowered his shield enough that either A, you take the hit, or B, you take a shield break. BK Chris finds the anti air though just before there's any potential armor frames from uh, Suarez. <laughs> this set has been so close, I feel like we're at game five already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That's one thing Yoshi has. You can jump yourself far enough away out of PK fire pressure. That must feel nice. And dip it away. You see, that's why I just trying to put these, just trying to throw out four airs, trying to catch one of these jumps. But gets an actual Yoshi grab, not the command grab. You barely ever see that thing be used. <laughs> Oh, it was good too for Suarez because you look at the positioning. He went for back there and tried to set up a ledge situation between him and PK Curse. So it was just good in general for positioning, and that's what Suarez is looking for, especially just against 44 to 88. Good read on the yeah. I was gonna say excellent read on the getup. Damage and done. Deed. If he got the mesh out, that would have been a lot of damage, but still good for him. I like what he did there too with the command grab. He kept himself in center stage. He covers a few options. If he rolls away, it's fine. Exactly. You don't get hit by over jumping. Uh, a lot of times people go a little bit too heavy on that. They jump up, then they get punished because you gave. Now you're above PK Chris. And right now, at 100%, you can't afford to be jumping around PK Chris. He's already killed you with short hop up airs. Back here, not going to do it yet. This is pretty bad though. P Chris can read a jump. He almost catches it right there. Oh. Was his mustache? Oh, he doesn't get the hit. If he caught him on the air dodge in with that egg, that would have been curtains. It's still good for Suarez though. Like he sees the position between him and PK Chris at the ledge. He runs back for center stage because he knows how much value that is right now at the moment. That was that was matchup knowledge of PK Chris too. Knew that he had to go to the left hand side because the only thing that could hit him at that top at that point was the egg. <gasps> Oh, he's lucky that Chris ended up air dodging or going too far in. This is so close right now. This could be one raw up smash lead away. Uh, like, yeah, Suarez I was going to say. We burn that double he's jump. He's going for these back airs a bunch right now. He's going to be careful doing it a bit too much. A PK Chris is going to punish him for it. Mm, yeah, the Speaking landing. Which, the landing. That was good too. Like you said, he's going for these back airs, and at the end, he was trying to go for an up out of shield. And at that final opportunity, PK Chris knows the one I've been saying it all night so far, man. Yoshi may have some great hitboxes, they're stubby, but the thing about Yoshi is that when he commits to an aerial, that's a hard commitment, and you can punish him for it 100%. Once Yoshi goes above that one. 20 30 ish range it's hard for them to find forward air into up air and it's hard for them to find potential tech chase situations in the jab lock smash attacks so what do they have to do they have to go for nares out of shield and knock you off or they have to go for back airs in this matchup you can't afford to go for nares out of shield because you're gonna get yeeted by ness so you need to make sure that you stay safe Problem is though, like you said with Ness, he's got that dash attack, he's got the range, and if you time it right after the commitment from the back air, especially because he just did four of them, throw out that dash attack, you're probably gonna win. Yeah. This is this is so this is tight, and it's it's pretty bad for right now for Suarez too because of the fact that he doesn't have access to PS2 or probably a wider stage. I doubt that PK Chris is letting him get it. That's why we're gonna ride it out here in Battlefield. Still a fantastic stage for for Yoshi overall because the combos are great here, but the the floatiness and Ness actually kind of contributes to a loss of a lot of his combos. So he doesn't like sure he gets it early percent, but he doesn't get the big finishers that he needs at the end, and that's what's making it stressful because when you're <laughs> what's a back air to a back throw like and what. <laughs> what the back air to a short hop up air like you you don't that's like your main KO option outside of a sh like just a, a raw up smash read kind of stressful oh stressful indeed uh stress aside though i mean we'll see who's gonna be the one i mean suarez is the one stressing a little bit here because pk chris is on set point so he knows that he's the one who's gonna be going up against jake and 62 percent on suarez the read on that nair commitment strong enough and the pk thunder <laughs> almost to the confirm that would have been big for stock one that was so scary too because like Suarez, he couldn't really safely air dodge down because I think he was a little bit too close to grab the ledge. So he kind of had to hope that that wouldn't get hit there. Oh, good cross up, but he doesn't get the, he was hoping he would get the tech drop down so he could confirm into the up tilt at that point. Doesn't get it though. Good, <laughs> Yoshi with the escape. Everybody else was dead there. Oh, what a, yeah, what a change up, too. Good on Suarez. 
Picky Kiss was definitely waiting for something like a nair or a landing on that platform, and then just to switch it up to down B was good to get a punish. Suarez slowing his way, coming back. A good use on the egg tosses. You force your opponent to either hold shield or move or take the hit. Nonetheless, though, Picky Kiss gets that back throw all the way to the blast zone, and Suarez inches in looking for that recovery. Great play, though. He doesn't see a, mo a move, so it's good to come back on the stage. And the cross up from Picky Kiss with the size ball. So good to get back on the stage and get control. It's why had just barely missed the egg toss on the PK yeah. as well to actually chat, like to clank with it. Oh, oh no! That's his jump. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. He caught him on his jump from ledge there. So now PK Chris is up 124 to zero stocks. You see Suarez feel little, probably feeling a little frustrated right now, trying to figure out what he needs to do. Now here's the thing: Suarez, when he goes in, like some of the most intense matches I've ever seen actually involve Suarez. If anybody wants to watch a good one, go watch Suarez versus uh, Light and Frostbite. It's incredible. This man is really good when his back up is against the wall. He has to start getting that aggression and figure it out. Mm -hmm. so PK Chris has removed ledge, like edge play from him. Like edge guards did just have barely happened at all. So the fact that he can't get that is pretty huge right now. Yeah, and look at the respect that Suarez has almost with the shield break there on the down B. But the way that Suarez is now is I kind of want to keep my feet on the ground and see if I can get an egg or just Ooh. read the after to get up there. I, I honestly, I don't even. I, I, I agree with these sports matches center stage. Screw it. He's got to commit. He's got to go to you. Just just throw it out there. He, he almost caught him with that down B before. He's oh, yeah. Is just like, yeah, that, that, this is. Normally, we don't write things up pretty quick. I like to see people make comebacks. This is not looking it. Like, yeah, Suarez, they, Suarez yeah. now at 125. He, he has to play like the best you've ever seen. He has to dodge kill throws and anti airs for the whole next two stocks. He needs a and, miracle. And that not, miracle's gone. <laughs> I was gonna say like whatever miracle is happening it's not gonna be it here and it's gonna be PK Chris taking his 3-1 over Suarez like he said there's so much you have to consider to dodge against Ness at 120 plus it's 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 really it's